Hi, everybody. I want to take a moment to go through the um, recursive tree program so that we can see what this looks like, see a little bit about how to get this running. It's a little bit awkward the first time you take a look at this, so I'm just going to start from the very uh, beginning here. And um, yeah, we'll save a recursive tree. I think we cuss recursive tree. Save that on the desktop there. Um, so this is going to be Python, yeah, and the general idea here is we're going to draw branches, right? We're going to, we talked about this, we're going to have a, um, a function that allows us to, I'm having a hard time here, we're going to write a function that uh, draws branches recursively using the turtle module. So I'm going to import turtle from turtle import star. Some people have difficulties with this, but if you've uh, worked with a Miniconda or Anaconda, if you've gotten that on your computer, then turtle should be included with all of that. And in our main function here, once you get turtle in there, and in our main function, we can um, set up a turtle. We can say there's a, a screen command with turtle. So you can say, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to, just to make this very explicit, just import turtle, and I'm going to use the fully qualified name so you know that these all go with that. So uh, we'll set up a little window here. Uh, window is equal to turtle dot screen, and so that gets uh, that sets up a window for us so that we can do something with that. We'll maybe set the screen size there to something uh, that fits our panorama. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. I'm going to do a little bit of testing as we go, make sure that things are working out for us the way we want them to. So let's do that and we'll run and hopefully we'll get a little window that pops up and it flashed by pretty quickly. That's a reminder, of course, that we need to have at the very end here, window exit on click. So that hopefully will leave it there. If I save that there and run that, that'll leave it there until we click on the window. Cool. Um, we do want a turtle. We talked about this and uh, demonstrated a little bit of this in class. So uh, we'll set up a turtle. I'll just call it T to make it easy. That's using the turtle module. Again, this fully qualified name, turtle. That's the class in turtle module. And um, and I wanted to start this. If, I, if we take a look at the screen here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, set this up here. So there's the turtle and I want to start because I'm going to be drawing a tree that's coming from the ground. I want to start it down here. So um, I'm not sure what the pixels are here. I guess this is, well, this isn't really 800 by 600, is it? I'm, I'm not sure that this is working the way I thought it would, or maybe I have to expand it out like this a little bit. I'm not entirely sure how this whole window thing works here. Um, but yeah, this is, well, let's pretend this is 800 by 600. Let's pretend, yeah, it kicks in right around there. That's right around 800 by 600, I guess. Uh, I want to drop down, if this is 600, I want to drop down 100, 200. Maybe I want to have it start at the bottom here. So I'm going to drop down 200 in my Y to get started. That's going to be where I start the tree from. So uh, you can say T go to. Um, I don't want to change on the X axis, but I want to drop down on the Y axis there. And let's see what that looks like when we run that. And, oh. Sorry, I have to get rid of the old one there. There it is, and it dropped down, and that's exactly, I think, where I want to start it from. That'll be a good place. I don't want this line drawn, though, so maybe before I do the go to, I will t.pen up, which lifts the turtle's tail so it doesn't make a mark. I'll drop down. Once I'm in that position, I'll put the tail back down, and I'm also going to turn to the left 90 degrees, so I'll be in a position to start drawing the branch. Start drawing branches. Put a little note to myself there. And let's see what that looks like when we run that. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like I still have that one left over from before. There we go. It dropped it down, and now I'm in a position to draw up and start drawing those branches. Beautiful. Okay. And oh, that's another one. Okay. So how do we actually do that? We said that in uh, we were going to have a branch function that takes a turtle and the length of the branch and the width of the branch. I should probably use some better variables here. Uh, I don't want to use turtle because that's also the name of the module, so maybe I'll just call him um, 
turtle, Tommy. I'll call him Tommy, even though that's not really his name. Ah, naming is hard. Uh, I'll use T. I'm just going to use T for turtle. Uh, but I do need the length of the branch and the width of the branch. And I am going to also, oh, I wonder if those are reserved words because those are blue right there. Uh, maybe I'll do, geez, maybe I'm just going to go to length and width. Sorry about that. And color. We'll use those to define what's happening. And yeah, now how do I draw a branch? I want to be able to draw a branch. And we'll get to that in a few moments. But I need to, first of all, figure out how I'm going to stop. Because remember, this is a recursive process. So if I'm going to be calling recursive, what that usually means is if some base case is true, then I'm just going to return. I'm going to stop. I'm not going to do anything else. Sometimes you return a number. Sometimes you just stop what you were doing. Else, if you haven't reached the base case, then you're going to go through some things. And you're, part, of the, part of the things you're going to do include calling branch recursively. So I think what I'm going to focus on here is not the length. Originally, I was thinking I'll go with the length of the branch, but I think I'm going to focus on the width of the branch. And I'm going to say if the width of the branch gets to be zero or less, I guess, if width is less than or equal to zero, then I'm done. I can't draw a branch that's less than zero anyway. So at that point, I'm not going to draw any more branches. And then what I'm going to be doing in here is recursively calling branches with smaller and smaller widths. So let's see what that looks like. So if I'm going to draw a branch with some width there, I need to set the pen size to that width. Pen size is going to be set to width. And then uh, I'm going to go forward. My turtle is going to go forward, whatever the length is. And I think I'm going to stop right there. I'm not going to worry about color right now. I'm not going to this C value here. I'm not going to worry about that. I guess I probably should set the color to uh, T dot. Is it just color? And then I set it to C. We'll have to take a look and see. But I'm probably not going to mess with that in this in this version. I'll just have it there for later on. Let me see what's happening so far in this module. So I'm dropping down there and Oh, I never called the branch function. I defined the function, the function, but I haven't called it. So down in the main, start drawing branches. I'm going to draw a branch. Here's my very first branch. Um, it's going to be drawn with a turtle. It's going to have a length of, I don't know, uh, 120. We'll see what that looks like. The width is going to be 5. Yeah, the width will be 5. And the color, I'll say it's uh, blue. I don't know, does that work? I think I can just put a color in there. So um, yeah, let's see what happens when we run that now. This is left over from before, here we go. Hey, it drew a blue line, that's perfect. It drew a blue line, that's the trunk of the tree. It's not very thick, I feel like I should have a thicker trunk there, so. But that's a good start, that was five apparently. Maybe I'll change this to uh, eight. Let's see what that looks like when we run that. A little bit thicker trunk. Okay, I'll add uh, ten. Let's let's make it ten. Okay, um, there's ten, and maybe that's a trunk, a more reasonably thick trunk. There, that's the old one. There's the new one. Okay, sure, that's that's good enough for now. You can barely see the little turtle arrow there. It went all the way up there, and now I'm set to start drawing some additional branches. I feel like I should make it a little bit longer, so I'm going to tinker a little bit here. I should make that branch a little bit longer. Maybe I'll make it go to 160, 180. Yeah. And now we run it. What do we got? Oh, okay, that'll work. That'll work. Um, well, what do we do then recursively? How do we draw branches recursively? So think about what's going to be happening here. Um, what I've done here is I've set the pen size and I've set the color and everything. We're good. And I drew a branch forward. And what do you do? What do you do after that, after you've gone forward? Well, we are going to be drawing recursively. And so that means I'm going to do some stuff, but I need to make sure that I can back out of whatever it is I'm going to be doing. So for instance, if I draw this branch up at some point, up the screen, 
I'm going to draw, do a bunch of stuff here. And then the last thing I'm going to be doing as I finish this recursive call is coming back to the beginning. So this is pretty important. I'm going to go T back that same distance at the very end. That's going to be an important for finishing up. So if I'm uh, doing a little bit of commenting here, draw this branch forward. And then over here, um, draw back on this branch. So that'll be the very first thing I do and the very last thing I do. And let's see what that looks like when I run that. I drew forwards and then you see the little arrow down here. I ended up at the very, I ended up back where I started. That's pretty important for me being able to draw that branch. Well, what do I knew, What do I need to do between those two points? Between those two points, I need to, I'm gonna draw two branches. We discussed this in class. I'm gonna split, I'm gonna draw one branch that goes up over here. I'm not the, gonna put the code for drawing that branch here though, because I already have code for drawing a branch. It's right here. This is the code for drawing a branch. What I need to do is call recursively the branch, but may, maybe not before I turn. So first of all, I'm gonna turn to the left, we'll say 30 degrees. And then I'm going to call branch. So I'm going to recall again, the branch function here is going to call itself. It's going to be using the same turtle. Is the length of the line going to be the same? I don't think so. I think I want the length of the line to drop down by 20 or 30, maybe. Uh, is the width of the line going to be the same? No, I think I'm going to have the width of the line drop down by two. I'll drop it down by two. We'll see what happens. And then the color, I'll just use the same exact color. That's gonna make another branch and go in and draw that branch and do that thing there. And let's see what happens if I draw that. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I'm a little afraid, here we go. And oh, I gotta get in here and get rid of this thing. Here we go. Oh. Turtle object has no attribute turn. Isn't there a turn? Oh, sorry, I have to turn left. My bad. Left. You knew that, though. I'm going to turn left there and see what happens. Oh, there's a bunch of left. Oh, geez. Started turning left. It did a nice left turn, left turn, left turn, left turn. And then something crazy happened here, and I'm not even sure. I wonder if it's still working, if it's wandered off into the distance there. Kind of hard to know. I don't have any way of looking up there. So, uh, well, that didn't work perfectly. Maybe I'll try drawing a little bit more and see what's happening. So I'm going to turn left and I'm going to draw that branch. And what's going to happen after I come back from drawing that branch? Branch, If it's true, I'll run that one more time. If it's true that I'm drawing this branch, I've just drawn this one here. And let's pretend I've finished that and I've come back here. Then I'm gonna to need to turn right by not 30 degrees, but 60 degrees. I need to go over symmetrically on the other side here. So I think once I come back from drawing that branch, I'm gonna T right 60 degrees to go over and draw the other branch. And I'm just gonna copy that down there. I'll, copy, I'll do the same branch, it'll be very symmetric there. And then the last thing I have to do if I went to the left and I went to the right, I need to turn back to the left again, 30 degrees, so that I can then back down. And I think that's going to recursively draw that. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens when I run that. And I gotta get rid of this one to draw the next one. Here it goes. It's working. It's working. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to. See how it's backing up and going all the way to the end, then it backs up. This is a recursive tree. It's working. It's totally working. Now, it's not a super fancy tree, but that's a tree. That's a recursive tree. It went through, drew a branch, drew a branch, drew a branch, and kept going. Um, that's awesome. It's exactly what I think it would be a little bit more striking if we had a, a background that was black, maybe, and uh, I'd like to get this spread out a little bit so it's a little bit more, you know, 
Looks like I could I could move things around a little bit. I really need to figure out how to do that screen size thing. I'd also I think I want to get more branches, right? I want to be a little bit more ornate here. Maybe if I don't um, maybe if I don't knock the branches down by two every time, maybe I'll drop them down by one. I'll change that there, and maybe I'll go over. I want to crank over forty instead of thirty. Well, that change what it looks like? Will that change the impression I have of the tree? One of the interesting things is, uh, try again here. You can see that the turtle, uh-oh, what happened there? Did something funky there. I must have gone, I must have done something wrong there. Um, yeah, W minus one, CC, everything looks like it's, well, something clearly went wrong there. If the width is less than or equal to zero, then yeah, I don't know. Something went wrong there. Um, I'm also thinking about the fact that I want to go back. Oh, geez. What's going on? What something happened here? Zero, one, two, three, four. Something strange. I have no idea what's going on. This is going to be some great debugging to try and figure out what happened here. Maybe I cranked it over um, too far. Did we? Uh, the length minus 40, that's good. Oh, wait, is this, did I not? Maybe I did something wrong here. I'm, I'm bailing out on this. What happened here? I'm gonna save this. Uh, length drops down. Oh, what happens if the length goes down? So I'm gonna go if, if weight is less than zero or, maybe that's what happened, the length gets to be less than or equal to zero. If either one of those happens, then I'm gonna to have to bail out. I've got two ways that I can finish. Let's see what happens there. Oh yeah, it's kind of, I never really had a chance. I'm, I'm dropping down too much there. Uh, I never really had a chance to finish up the, the tree the way I wanted to. So, all right, let's go ahead and we'll drop down a little bit less each time. Well, maybe we'll change this to uh, 20. 15, we'll make it 15. Here we go. Oh, it's gone off screen now. Um, I wonder if it's gonna come back. Will I get a chance to see it come back? Maybe if I expand this. Oh, geez, look at that tree. That tree is out of control. Uh, I gotta fix this. Also, it's, uh, I don't know if you've noticed, it's kind of going a little bit slowly. I'd like to have it go more quickly. So you can set the speed. If you set the speed to zero, it'll go just as quickly as it can. So maybe I need to drop down the length a little bit more here. I'm gonna change this to 25. So we'll finish that up a little bit more quickly. And at the very beginning, I think I'm gonna set the T speed. Can I do the speed? Someplace in here, T speed, set it to zero and then it'll blaze along as quickly as the graphics on your computer allow it to. So here we go, we're going pretty fast now. And still a little bit awkward, maybe I'm starting out too big. Maybe I need to have a, it doesn't look like a great tree to me. Maybe I should get a slightly skinnier trunk to begin with, but it's running through, it's doing its little thing. Oh, it's starting to have a little tree effect there. Yeah, a little geometric, don't you think? Anyway, you can play around with that, Ch figure out how to change the background, figure out how to change the color a little bit every time. That would be kind of cool to have the color change as it goes. Uh, but that's the basic recursive tree. Hope that helps.